If you're in Deuteronomy chapter 19, amen, verses 15. That's where I want to go first, and I'll be real slow as I can. And, uh, uh, when you get there, just say amen and we'll get it. But I, I don't want anybody to get discouraged. Amen. 1915. 1915. On page 303. Amen. 1450. 1450. If you want. 300. We're getting opinions in here now. We're going to have to get back. Deuteronomy 1915, when you get there, uh, it reads like this. One witness shall rise up shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin. And any sin that he sinneth out of the mouth of two of witnesses or out of the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. If you'll hold there and go with me just please to Matthew 18. If you will, I know that again, uh, I like when we just open our Bibles in our adult class and begin to talk. Amen. Because the Bible says iron sharpens iron. And if you don't know, you need to ask. And that's why how I got in my life. I, I asked somebody some directions. Matthew 18, 16, or 15, 15 and 16. And you there to say amen, and amen. we'll get started. Amen. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his faults between thee and him alone. If he shall not hear, thou hast gained thy brother. If he, dies, if he does hear, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then, then take with thee one or two or more. It says here that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. May be established, excuse me. And one more place, if you will. 2 Corinthians 13 and 1. And then I'm only going to pray and we're going to get started. Second Corinthians 13 and 1. I brought you from the old, bringing you to the new. It says, this is the third time I am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Shall every word be established. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, as we come before you, Lord Jesus, there is nothing like you, Lord God, and I thank you for the the flexibility you give us in here, Lord God, that we don't have to go by no, no schedule, Lord, that we can just freely, Lord God, find you, Lord Jesus. Worship you. Take our time in you, Lord God. And I, I thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have that kind of liberty in this place. The Sunday it may seem unorthodox, but it's all right, Lord God, as long as you're in the midst of us. And as long as you're feeding us, we'll be all right, Lord Jesus. Lord, again, I would ask God at this time, Lord God, this word that you've been with me all week on, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that you would allow the your anointing, God, to rest on me, God, that I get it right, Lord God. Don't let me mess up, Lord God. Don't let me mislead. But Lord, let me stir your people, Lord Jesus. Lord, I, I want you glorified, Lord God. I want the church herself, Lord, to wake up, Lord God. I I want, Lord God, to see revival, Lord. I want to see thousands among thousands among thousands, Lord God, receive. Lord, your spirit, Lord God, to receive the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lord God, be baptized in your name, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, I just praise you right now, God, and I ask for your blessings in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. I I want to share this with you real quick, and um, I, I've got some scriptures here, and I, I get it. I'll probably get going 100 miles an hour, and it's okay, but I I shot some of you, I don't know, even last week on, on 
I say videos if that's what you want to call them, a, a different, a, a, a preacher's preaching different things and 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 a, a saying things. And I, I, I want, I want to share what the Lord has really given us or given me to give you however you want to say that. Um, when you get in Matthew 26, 59 and 60, you'll find this is the place where that the that the high priest Cephas was was trying to find at least two witnesses to, to lie against Jesus to to be able to crucify him. And if you remember what Jesus said, he said that in five Matthew 5 17 that he didn't come to destroy the prophets or the law, but he but he but he come to fulfill it. And, and in Matthew 12, I know I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a lot, but I, I, I'm just, I want to talk a minute if it be all right. And I pray that the Lord will allow me to preach to you because I got something good for you. I, it was good to me as the Lord revealed it to me. In, in Matthew 12, 39, it talks about, or Jesus talks about the, the wicked, adulterous generation. And uh, I asked Jennifer this morning because of, it wouldn't give me the definition of adulterous, the O-U-S in it. It only gave me adultery. And uh, I, and she said just like right is being righteous, it's when you're doing the act of right, it's what righteous is. And you know, we as a church, and again, I don't, I don't like to, we, 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 we get in trouble sometimes. I ain't married with this charismatic, charismatic, charismatic spirit. Amen. That it seems to, to illuminate in the Pentecostal environment. Amen. I, I always, people's always ask me, what does Pentecost mean? I said, well, it was a movement in the book of Acts. I said, we believe the apostolic message. We believe that, uh, they ain't the one we're going to see on the throne. We believe that God robed himself in flesh. And, yeah. Amen. Named himself Jesus. And, amen. Glorified that body and ascended it to the heavens because he said to him, the angel said the same one that you see leave is the same one. Yeah. Amen. That's coming back. So I feel wow. that's who I'm going to see. I, I, when I read it in Acts 4 and 12, it says there's no other name given among men that we must be saved by. Amen. But that name. Amen. Wow. It says in Colossians 12, uh, 2 and 17, everything you do in word and deed, do it in that name. Amen. So I, I, I want us to look at something and, and I don't like really talking about the gifts much. Uh, Sister Crystal, I don't really like talking about much about mercy, uh, mercy and grace much because uh, it's taken to a point. Uh, amen. And it's stampled and trampled and all these things that's on it and it's abused and, and some people, Amen. Get in the flesh a little bit, and because they get two chill bumps, Amen. They think they've heard from the Lord, and Amen. And I, and I listen. That's what I've learned to do. And even in our amidst today, Amen. You know when somebody is confident when they've heard from the Lord, yeah. Amen. Because there is no way to persuade them left or right. right. If right. they really genuine heard it, they will not. <clears throat> Amen. Second guess themselves. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I, <coughs> I want us to, to under, under, understand that for a moment. And I know that you get young in the Lord, and when the Lord begins to deal with you, again, we've heard it here. You know that. Well, I didn't know if I was supposed to or not. You know, want to respect and yeah, 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 and all this. I and I understand. Or go. The Lord leads you to pray for somebody, and you don't go do it because you don't. You you scared to death that they they gonna get offended if you go ask them and all that. I, I understand all of that. I please. Uh, I beat myself up many times at that, and 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 and, <clears throat> and I pray that you would understand. I've never asked you to do nothing or lead your brother uh, Nathan anywhere that you Amen ain't supposed to go. I would pray. You know, I hate to use that word. Well, trust me, Amen, because I know that's a bad that's a bad ordeal to use kind of word. But anyway. 
Amen. And I try to preach my best across this pulpit for you to put everything that you got in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because it's going to lead and it's going to guide you into all truth, the Bible says. Into all truth, not some. Amen. But all. Amen. But there is some, amen, in this adulterous mode. Amen. Because, amen, they can't make their mind up. Are they going to sell out to the Lord? Amen. Or are they just going to play church? Amen. Until what we call until the Lord starts really coming, or say coming back, or do they feel, amen, that this is the time, amen, they ought to get right, amen, or if they just trying to run on somebody else's coattail, amen, or what, amen, there's a lot of people, church, amen, that had just muddied up the water a little bit, amen, and I, I know that, <coughs> excuse me, that I, I, I listen and I look, and there's been a lot that has tried to prophesy and do things and say, Amen. And again, I feel that it's an adulterous thing about Sister Karen because they really ain't got nothing to say. Amen. But there's been a couple of things, amen, that I, I want to share because I got word for it. Amen. That I, I shot some of you, amen, on some things that some of these brothers have said. Amen. And I, my, 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 my sister Kelly Hit me up. I, I I would send these things to her, and she said, "When the kid, and she, she she calls me son. She said, now son, now I don't want you to, amen, get flesh in this thing, amen, because one of them could this thing could wind up that Donald Trump being the 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 the, the Antichrist in this thing, you know. And 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 I said, well, Kelly, you 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 missed the whole the whole thing, amen, amen. Maybe I'm the only one that's heard this." So I said, you know, and it's been on me, so I want to preach it, amen, because I feel like the Lord wants me to preach this, amen. What caught my mind at everything that I sent y'all, amen, talking about a four-year span of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, amen. That's, I'm not, I'm not, Donald Trump can't save me, church. Right. Donald Trump, amen, cannot make my life better. The only one, amen, that I've read about oh, that can make me prosper. I don't right. want everybody to understand. But my spiritual leader, what it heard, amen, they's coming this time of a warning, amen. Now, they's going to be four years, brother, and that's why you're being stirred. Brother Bo, that's why you being stirred. Sister Crystal, that's why I laid hands on you Wednesday night. Amen. That that man right there would say mm, that the Spirit of the Lord would stand in front of him and let it, my God, minister to him. That he would know this is time to open my mouth and give thus said the Lord. I know what I was feeling in this place. Amen. But I'm telling you, I want to take you to the time in Genesis, in chapter 41, when that Pharaoh had a dream of the seven fat cows and the seven bad cows and the seven good ears and the seven bad ears. It was a warning, but they had nobody that could interpret the dream. Y'all remember that? But had the man in the prison that could interpret the dream. I know I'm getting loud, but I'm so sorry. I'm just excited of what God is trying to wake us up and make us understand and Joseph come to the Pharaoh and said Pharaoh there's going to be seven good years and then it's going to turn famine on you and I'm telling you something right now church if you'll read all that word and just not read the high points of it there come a time when Joseph went out and began to prepare for the seven famine he began to build the storehouse they began to plant Amen, because the word was given. Amen, the Pharaoh turned the man of God loose. Amen, that he could prosper throughout the land and store up the food that his people shall not perish. And I'm telling you right now, Bo Parker, if you want your family not to perish, not the immediate, but the far as you can see it, you better take these four years, amen, and store up. That's what I'm hearing when I shot you them videos of these brothers saying four. I kept seeing the number four. Four, the Lord is warning you. Amen. The Lord is warning. There's four years of prosperity coming. There's four years the Lord's going to talk like he's never talked to you before. The anointing is going to be so great. Amen. On you. It's going to be unreal. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my God. 
to walk in that confidence that this is thus saith the Lord. Amen. Man, I don't know if I was the only one that heard it, but I could just see it. Amen. Out there, the Lord is warning. Amen. There's got to be an end time. But the Lord, amen, wants his glory to be known. Y'all hear what I'm telling you? He wants his glory to be known. Amen. Hallelujah. Have you read all of that about Joseph? There's some antichrist in that a little bit. Yes. Because when the famine come, it got to the point the money was no good. Wow, right. They already give all the money. Yeah. Then brother Nathan, they had to give all the cattle. Not the land of Goshen, by the way. Oh. Not Israel. Not the other 11 brothers. Right. Not their family. But the Bible said the Egyptians right. and the other nations came. Do you hear what I'm saying? Giving cattle. When cattle wasn't no good. It was the land they had to give. And Joseph continued to give out the corn. But it come to they had to sell their soul. Amen. And able to survive. And I'm telling you all I can think about was the mark of the base church. Amen. There's going to come a time. Amen. That all it's going to be is man's going to have to give their soul. Amen. And able to eat on this earth. But the Lord has warned the church with two different preachers. Amen. We got four glorious years of the outpouring is what they said. Famine's coming, sister. That's right, it is. But we better store up like we never have. You better not take today for granted that we got it here, amen. And I'll be honest with you, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, amen, but we have somebody that says, let's open our Bibles and tell me what's troubling you, amen, that you get your soul right. right now. Come, on, Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 It's like time for harvest. Yes. yes. Amen. And you better begin to plant. Yes. That's what Joseph done. He began to plant. He began, the Bible said, began, he began to go out, Sister Crystal, and find the land. Amen. And began to sell the seed that it would be planted. That the harvest. That began to build barns. Amen. To store it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. We got to. Y'all better listen to me. The Lord came to fulfill things. He came to establish you. He came to establish that you would speak. Thus saith the Lord. Do you understand that, Bo Parker? That you would speak. That you would speak and be established. Amen. Joseph was established. There's times that we've been in prison. There's times, Brother Bo, I've asked the Lord, when are you going to turn me loose? When are you going to allow me to go? Amen. I said I'd go. When are you going to allow? When are you going to turn me loose? I feel that I'm in prison here. Come on, somebody. The Lord is moving so great in this place. But it ain't you, Sister Shelley, that I'm worried about. All right now, come on. Come, come on. on. That's right. That's right. If Joseph, all he was worried about was his family, he would have never done, amen, what he was doing. That's right. Amen, to begin to store up all that corn. That's right. Because the Lord had spoke. Amen. There's seven famine years of famine coming. It's going to become a place and a time. Amen. And the Bible says if you'll read it, the first year, it didn't seem that bad. They had money. They was able to buy. Right. Still living. Come on, somebody. Right. But it gets to the end of it. Yeah. You remember the five foolish we was talking about. It gets to the end. Oh, my God, I don't have enough. Come on, somebody. Amen. I got to sell my soul. Come on, amen. Because I do not have enough to survive, but yet us will survive. Because the 
power of the Holy Ghost. Why wouldn't you want it, church? Why wouldn't you preach it? Why won't you tell them? It's the utterance when the Spirit comes by. Desire it. See that I'm alive to you. That it's not real. Tell me that it's not real. My God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm picking on Brother Bo, but I kind of feel all right that I didn't obey the Lord yes, last Sunday. I was in a place of being like a blind man. I know I wasn't supposed to go any further, but I was waiting. Don't take that the wrong way. But I mean, I was going to push on forward. Amen. We'd be all right either way. Amen. God blesses. God lets us repent. God lets us move forward. But I'm telling y'all something. Amen. The Spirit last week in this place, amen, was mighty. Amen. And I'm telling you something. Don't doubt it. Amen. I'm telling you something, Brother Bo. Don't doubt it. Amen. It is a time. Amen. That we get up. Amen. And begin to plant. Amen. We get in that word. Amen. And let it might store up. Amen. Because there's going to be a time that we got to release it. The day we speak life to them. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I know that some looks at this thing. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not picking, again, I'm not on the political thing, but I, all I can think about is the hindrance of this thing has got a hold of us. Right. That we can't get past it. Mm -hmm. And all the whole time, it was the four. The Lord's going to show his arm. Amen. We're going to have four glorious years. Amen. And everybody, when is he coming back? When, when are they going to put Donald Trump back into power? Well, let me tell you something. I ain't worried. Amen. About the United States on the carnal side of this thing. The Lord said if I served him, he would take care of me. Do you understand what I'm saying, church? My mind is on spiritual things in this thing, church. When it revivals, what I'm asking. Mm -mm. My God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I think if you go on and, and read. A little bit further, amen, and, 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 and Israel dies. If y'all remember, Israel dies. But before he dies, he blesses all of his, 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 his kids and he tells them what state that they were going to be in. If y'all go back and read that. But the thing that, that, that I need y'all to understand, this church, that's all I'm responsible for is the ones that sit here. If God pulls me out there, I'll do something else. But it's what Joseph told his brother after they went and buried, amen, Jacob or Israel, however you want to call him. They were still troubled. They were still in the mind of adulteress. They were still in the flesh. They said, oh, no, now, amen, that, 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 that Joseph... It's going to show, amen, his power. Show his carnal arm, the authority that he has, amen. But it was Joseph that said, you don't understand what you've done, amen, you've done, amen, for evil, amen. But see, God meant it for good. God had to get me in a place, amen, that I would pray even in prison. Why won't you let me out? Come on, somebody, I was accused by Potiphar's wife, amen, just like you said.
Thank you, Jesus. My God, he said, how is it you steal from me? Amen. He said, my tithes and offerings, you remember that? In Malachi, he said, bring the meat into my storehouse. Come on, somebody. And they would be food. They would be meat to feed. I'm telling you something. I'm looking at this thing on spiritual, not on carnal. All right. All right. That's right. Jesus. My God. Bring the tithes. Bring the offering. Tithe your time. Come on, somebody. Offering of praise. Come on, that sacrifice of praise. That offering. Bring the burnt offering, the volunteer worship. Bring it. Bring it. That it may be meat in my house. Yes. Yes. That you're fully anointed when you get around them. And when you speak it, they convert it. Yes. Not that you did it, brother. Not that you did it, any of you. But it's the Spirit of the Lord. That's right. That's right. He said, not by my might, but not by my Spirit. Excuse me, not by power, not by might, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord. It's going to be the Spirit that breaks them out of bondage. It's going to be the Spirit of God that breaks the addiction. Come on, somebody. It's going to be the Spirit that breaks the double-mindedness. Amen. Wondering, do I need the Holy Ghost or not? All right. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has spoken. That's what I told Sister Karen. I said, I said, Sister, I believe the word of the Lord has given me a prophetic word. It's time, it's time to plant. Mm-hmm. I see the vision. I clearly can see it. Yes. I scold. I, sc- I, I, I looked at them videos, but I wasn't listening on the flesh right. side. I understand this place is supposed to burn up. Right. So I'm not looking to prosper. I'm looking, can I have church? Can I look, can I see a soul saved? Can I see the outpouring? Amen, can I see what Job prophesied? Am I going to get to see that church? Amen, am I going to get to see, amen, my God, in the name of Jesus? Amen, where am I going to get to participate in that? Amen, and I'm telling y'all something. It's an awesome thing, just what I said before I started this. It's an awesome thing to be able to prepare, amen, the bread that the folks, amen, bring up and pull the ingredients together and bake that bread that the Lord's people can eat and the stranger can eat, the addictor can eat. Amen, I'm telling you, the, the drunk, amen, the liar, the deceiver, all of them, church, amen, can eat and have life and have it more abundant, church. I don't want to have church with adulterous people. Come on. Come on. That's seeking a sign. Come on. That's, let's just be honest. Can I be honest? That, uh, that I'm looking for you that have these gifts. That I'm going to lean toward heavy more to you. Come on. Jesus said that's wicked. That's right. Come on. Not covet another man's. And what he said? Those that measure themselves up against the others is not wise. Ain't that what he not said? Wise. Not wise. It's, in, it's, in, it's about what's the 15 of, of, of Romans. Those that judge, judge, I judge themselves among themselves, something like that. It's okay. I ain't got it right in my head, but it's all right. But I'm here to tell you, church. The Lord desires. He said, I will work, but who will let me? And I'm here to tell you right now, we got four years. Because Paul said, I had the mouth of two or three witnesses. I, I read it to you in different places to where you would have it. You've had. Different brothers saying there's four years. There's four years. There's four years. 
What will you do with it? I, I, I preached, amen, what God wants you to have. But I'm telling you this. We miss out, Sister Crystal. We miss out. I, I need you to understand. You, 